What's up guys, Hook here. Hey, quick video showing um, the mod I just put on the DCS World Forums. Nothing too special. I've been out of pocket for weeks now due to being away from a home for a work training school that I had to attend. Almost done with that. I'm home for the holiday weekend and then a couple more weeks and I'll be back home. So uh, hopefully be making more content. But uh, the reason you're watching this video is to see how this mod works. So let's jump right into that. So, uh, what you want to do first is download my mod from the uh, from the forums and inside the mod you're gonna see that there is a uh, Lua and that Lua is gonna be named uh, that's a Lua file type that is it's gonna be named F86 so uh, all you need to do is uh, take that Lua which looks like this go into your root directory of DCS world oh and before I get into this I know that there's several ways to uh, manage mods in DCS JGSME and others I use a mod manager as well but this is just a safe way for a bare bones user to make the install work or the mod work without issues alright so go into core mods go into aircraft uh, F86 and then you'll see what I've done here but let's move that away so you guys uh, won't be confused <clears throat> well, okay, I can't. So here's what we'll do. <laughs> All right, we're at the F86 Lua that's already there. I want you to go ahead and rename that to F86 Backup. And then we're going to copy the one from my mod and paste it in here. Now what we've done, we've put the modded Lua in and we've also left your original there. Uh, so if you want to back out the mod, just delete the one you introduced here, rename this to F86, and you're good to go. Okay, so now we're going to launch and talk a little bit about the mod. Alright guys, so what I created here is, uh, I took, a, and again, I'm not a, a very advanced modder, I'm still learning, but I took the F86 and I did some modifications to it to uh, create either a hypothetical uh, Vietnam era F86, you know, that would have been put into service or extended past its actual service life to be used in Vietnam or a good analog for the F100 Super Saber. Now the F100 was the first uh, mass-produced supersonic US jet fighter. It was called the Super Saber because it did have some things in common with the F86 Saber although there's a pretty major departure. Uh, they, they did keep some elements in common there and what I found with my mod is that I was actually able to uh, make the F-86 pretty darn close to the F-100 in capabilities. So we're going to load up uh, my mod and, and talk just a little bit about that. Give me a second while I remember where I put my mm, demonstration mission. There we go. Alright, so... <clears throat> Let's look at the aircraft, and I'm going to walk you guys through the changes. All right, so uh, the things I did is uh, I went ahead and expanded its capabilities. The F-100D had uh, six pylons. It could carry uh, rocket pods, bombs on those pylons, and then up to four sidewinders. Now, originally, the F-86 only has the GAR-8, which is a pretty poor air-to-air -air missile. So what I did was I expanded it to have, as you guys can see here on pylons 6 and 5, which are your middle pylons, the option for the AM-9P5, which isn't a bad uh, analog for a Vietnam era sidewinder, maybe may post-Vietnam, but still. And then um, I know that some people will cringe that I have the, the two uh, AM-9Ms here, but I'm going to qualify that by saying uh, that the reason I did that is the F-100 actually could carry two or four AM-9s and it carried them on those center pylons just like the Sabre did but on twin ejectors. Now unfortunately there's no uh, Vietnam era AM-9 on twin ejectors in the sim, just the AM-9M. So those are included but uh, the good news is they don't have all aspect capability when being fired from the Sabre, Sabre due to its limitations. Okay additionally uh, you can see that you can now carry uh, rocket pods on the inboard pylons. Uh, as well as pylons 7, 4, and then the outboards 1 and 10. Now, 
we're going to go ahead and launch and demonstrate this real quick because uh, this one reason I made the video is to show you guys the tricks to using the saber here uh, with these with these modded weapons. Okay, so the pylons we're, we're going to call the uh, the pylons that the AM9 normally is mounted on the innermost pylons, and then uh, the the pylons outside of that the inboard, and then the ones at the wing tip the outboard, just hopefully to <laughs> avoid confusion. So the innermost pylons have their own firing circuit. Uh, it's coded into the saber, and it was that way in the real one. Uh, so if you want to fire anything on those innermost uh, sidewinder pylons, whether it's rockets or sidewinders, you have to use the AM9 or the uh, the missile pylon circuit which I'll demonstrate now everything outside of that where you can carry rockets or bombs fires on a different circuit that has a little bit of a tricky function uh, which I'll demonstrate here in a second now what's cool about this is it gives you the option to discriminate between say uh, firing bombs on the outer pylons uh, or um, and, and, you know okay let me rephrase this um, if you if you didn't have these inner pylons carrying rockets, and let's just say you had rockets and bombs mixed on the uh, inner or the inboard and outboard pylons, when you fired them, they all fire at once. So on those outboard and inboard pylons, you cannot mix rockets or bombs. It's got to be one or the other. Now on the sidewinder, these inner pylons, which are gray there, uh, those can carry missiles like sidewinders uh, or rockets or the uh, AGM bullpup represented by the RB05 from the Vigan, which is uh, fireable by AI, and it's, it, the AI uses it great, it actually targets perfectly, uh, but as player it's not guided, so you'll just be able to shoot it with no guidance, but it's cool for uh, AI for mission builders. So anyway, let's demonstrate, we'll start off with the um, inboard, uh, the innermost rather rockets, so you'll see down here we have our guns missile selector, which normally would be controlled, uh, control your air-to-air -air missiles, uh, in your guns. We're going to put that in the uh, missile position and you'll see now as we run in on the target I'm just going to shoot. We're going to pull the gun missile trigger and you will see that now those missiles are firing or those rockets are firing rather. Now the, the firing rate's a little slow and steady but nonetheless good work can be done with it. Cool. Alright so uh, firing the, the rockets on the uh, inboard and outboard pylons are a simpler affair there it is a simpler affair all you need to do is hit your pickle button and you can see that you've been firing now notice the kind of slow fire rate and that it fires one rocket at a time I can't control that so uh, you'll just need to make a few more passes on your target and uh, I kind of like it in a way it kind of keeps me from shooting all the rockets at once and you can just imagine that they're set up for single releases. Now let me show you why uh, there's a trick to firing those rockets on the air-to-ground pylons. Uh, if you look over here in the F-86, this is called the rocket intervalometer. Uh, and as I fire my rockets, you're going to see that that circuit cycles 1 through 16. So that's why the, the firing rate is kind of slow. So the trick is to fire uh, your four pair here, your four rockets. There's one. There's Oops, sorry, there's one, there's two, release the button and then hit it again. You can get a pretty good uh, amount of rockets coming off the pylons. And if you want to fire all the uh, rockets uh, at the same time, just pull the pickle switch and the gun switch. You get something like this. You can do some work with that. Uh, sure, it's not a huge volley, but uh, allows you to be pretty precise and pick off targets here. Good for taking out convoys and fixed targets and things like that. And then as always in the F-86, uh, you still have your gun. Just set your missile switch back to guns and you're good to go. So that takes care of rockets. I want to demonstrate bombs now and just show the other loadout options. So uh, once again, uh, if from pylons 10 to 7, you cannot mix rockets or bombs. It has to be one or the other. And then pylons 4 to uh, 1. However, pylons 6 and 5 can carry uh, the air-to-air -air missiles or the rockets or, again, the RB05, which is the AGM-12 bullpup stand-in, uh, usable by AI uh, only, with guidance, that is. Okay, so uh, let's let's show the trick to launch the bombs here that we can wrap this thing up. By the way, guys, uh, this is the uh, 
USN FJ2B skin available on the user files. Um, I'm not going to include these skins with the mod. I don't want to make it look like I'm stealing somebody's work. But uh, that skin's great. And then the USAF uh, Southeast Asia F86 skin, which I'll also link on the user files, is a must-have with this mod. And we'll run that on this demonstration. It really makes it look like the Super Savers. And uh, it makes it perfect for your Vietnam missions. Alright, uh, now I'll say uh, this disclaimer about bombs. Uh, the F-86 is not the most precise bomb platform in the world. You'll need to follow the same parameters for dropping bombs here that you normally would, which I can't demonstrate right now, uh, but you can look up some tutorial videos. The only I got you on the bombs, and I'll show this real quick, is you'll notice that you have a dim bomb switch here, <laughs> dim bombs. Um, what you need to do is uh, leave it in its default position, and this is going to release the outboard bombs. Uh, and there's no way to release, you know, one or two. When you hit the button, those triple ejectors are shooting them all. Now, if you put this in the top position, uh, that's going to release your inboard bombs. So basically, it gives you the option to fire your bombs in two different uh, volleys here. And then, uh, of course, you've got the rockets. So we'll release the outboards. There they go. Nice big old chunk of bombs. And then uh, we'll uh, switch the proper switch to the all position. You can release your imports and there they go and once again guys if uh, if you care to you can uh, always set your missile or your gun missile selector to missile and even with bombs as long as they're on the innermost pylons you got the option for your rockets so uh, what's cool about this mod here uh, even though it's nothing too special is it really does give the F-86 almost the same capabilities the F-100 has which again is you know giving it a a great uh, Vietnam stand-in capability. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell my wingman to uh, attack the ground targets. Flight. Target and we'll see. Uh, we'll see if he does it. I, d I do want to see one of these bull pups, uh, one of these RBO5s, be fired here. So let's see what that does. Uh, looks like he's already fired his. Well, can't show that tonight, I'm afraid, guys. But. Uh, this is just showing you what it looks like. These are the RBO-5s by Leatherneck, uh, and those uh, missiles uh, represent the AGM-12 Bullpup, which is also a radar or a radio command line of sight missile uh, similar to the RBO-5. And I'm not sure how much of a relation there was between them, but what's cool about this is it gives the AI uh, saber or super saber, if you will, a uh, precision precision strike weapon. And uh, I'll let you guys see what it looks like when you fire one, just for the hell of it. Again, don't expect to hit anything with it. Alright, for those watching the video, I'll link the mod in the mod description too. Hopefully you guys can get some enjoyment out of this. And of course, it'll be on the Ed forums here. So, we'll see uh, what this missile looks like when you release it. There she goes, old RV-05. And... Uh, just doing its its merry thing by itself. Uh, very cool looking missile. Sadly, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get it to work on the saber, uh, guidance wise. Would be awesome, but uh, it's there for AI. And if you want to have it cosmetically, hey, go for it. it. Looks pretty similar to the AGM-12. So there you go, guys. That pretty much takes care of the uh, mod demonstration. What you need to know. Again, this was created just to give you an option to use the uh, saber in a Vietnam setting. I think uh, it's pretty cool, and I hope you guys will enjoy it, and uh, let me know if you have any questions or need any help in the comments. Alright, and uh, by the way, for those who are subscribers, I'll be getting back to uh, PvP events, more sim and DCS content as soon as possible. Like I said, I'm just out of pocket for a few months, but uh, I have not gone anywhere. I'll be coming back. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy. I'll talk to you later.